Welcome everybody as we do another short little video to explain the mystery and the Bible and how to understand the Bible because right now God is saving a group to live in heaven and when he's done with saving our group he's going and the rapture has happened he's going to re go back to saving the group that he started to save in prophecy and save some more in prophecy but right now we're living in mystery and he's working on his heavenly group so let's look at the timeline okay so the books of the Bible if you can look at the bottom there let me see, I use my pointer. Genesis to Malachi. Genesis to Malachi. This is all how the books of the Bible are laid out. There's a timeline embedded in the books of the Bible. Then we get Matthew to John. And then we get Romans to Philemon. And then we have Hebrews to Revelation. So Romans to Philemon is mystery. The other books before that is prophecy. And then the books after mystery are prophecy again. So let's go back over our timeline and talk about how the rebellion in heaven began and what God's plan is. So God's plan is to end the rebellion in heaven that began with Lucifer and to <laughs> then Lucifer convinced Adam and Eve to also rebel on earth. So after Adam and Eve came Noah's flood and after Noah's flood came the Tower of Babel Tower of Babel and after the Tower of Babel when the nations turned their back on God and wanted to make a name for themselves not worship him God called out one man Abraham to make his own nation out of him the nation of Israel so God made a distinction between the circumcision because he gave that sign of or token of the circumcision to Abraham and the uncircumcision which is everybody else so the circumcision was a God's people near to God and they were above all the other people because God gave up the Gentiles at the Tower of Babel with the hope of saving his nation to help the Gentiles to also be saved. So after um, Abraham was no Moses and God gave Moses the law and his people, you know, failed to keep the law and made the, the, the um, golden calf. Then after, well, he also told Moses that his people would be a kingdom of priests to save the Gentiles. Um, so then, uh, but not yet, <laughs> because they failed. So then he um, came David, and God promised that David's son would sit on the throne in Jerusalem to um, be the king of the Jews. And then came Daniel, and God gave the timeline for his people, the Israelites, to, to Daniel. Seventy weeks were determined upon his people, or 490 years, seven times seven. And so, until uh, uh, God would return. And then there was a period of 400 years of silence. A little dotted line shows that. Then... John the Baptist 
came on the scene as a voice crying in the wilderness. So he said that the kingdom of heaven was at hand. The kingdom would be coming down to earth very shortly because the king of the Jews was, had been born. And so Jesus came and he had his dis, you know, apostles, his disciples, and he taught them for a period of three years. And then after three and a half years, Christ was crucified. He died on the cross and then he was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures. And the 12 were to have service for God. Satan didn't know that it was checkmate at the cross. But the Lord Jesus Christ, when he was on the cross, had asked the Father to give Israel one more year, extension of mercy, to realize that he was their Messiah. Because they had been ignorant of the fact that they had really... Um, you know, crucify their Messiah. And so um, he gave him one, one, them one more year, extension of mercy. And in Acts 2, the Holy Ghost came down on Peter. And Peter and his group tried to convince Israel to believe that Jesus of Nazareth was their Messiah. But the leaders of the nation... Uh, stoned Stephen to death in response to the Holy Ghost offer of a, a renewed offer of the kingdom. And so Israel fell in Acts 7. Then in Acts 9, God did something that was unprophesied. He appeared to Saul of Tarsus, who was blinded by that light, in Acts 9 and saved Saul of Tarsus and gave him a new ministry to save another group of people to live in heaven. And um, in Acts 15, Saul of Tarsus goes to Jerusalem, to the Jerusalem Council, and explains that, that Peter's group, who didn't fall, because they continued taking new converts until Acts 15, um, had been put on hold that God had started a new ministry with him. So Paul is now um, going to go to all the Gentiles because God has inserted the dispensation of grace. So he's going to all lost people and Paul is chosen for service by God. And he's the first one to write to all that be in Rome. So all of a sudden there's letters to the Gentiles. And the Gentiles that are lost, that believe the gospel that Paul preached, can be saved into the body of Christ. And this body of Christ will be raptured or caught up when Christ appears again. He had appeared to Jesus Christ. I mean, Jesus Christ appeared to Paul. And then Jesus Christ will appear to rapture the body of Christ at the end of this mystery. So... Um, there's one apostle to the body of Christ, and there were 12 apostles to Israel. So see these little yellow men? They represent the saved people during um, Christ's earthly ministry. And the little black men represent the people saved during mystery. After we're raptured, God will resume his dealings with Israel and there will be more little yellow men saved into Peter's group and the Antichrist will sign a seven-year agreement with Israel to allow them to do animal sacrifices in the rebuilt temple in Jerusalem and after at the that seven-year agreement or covenant will the sign that, um, you know, he is the Antichrist and that the last seven years of Israel's 490 years have begun. 
because Israel was in the last day of Daniel's timeline when Peter was here. And he there again in the last days of the 490 years, only seven years left. So the gospel of the kingdom on earth will again be preached. Then after seven years, Christ will return in his second coming. And then he'll set up his 1,000 year reign of, over the United Kingdom, over Israel and Judah. And after a thousand years, there'll be one last rebellion of the Gentiles. He'll put that down with fire from heaven, and he'll do the great white throne judgment of the lost. All the lost, the people that didn't believe God from Genesis to Revelation. So the books Hebrews to Revelation are all about getting through the tribulation and into the kingdom, while our books were Romans to Philemon. So um, after the great white throne judgment, all the lost will be go from hell to the lake of fire. Hell will be put into the lake of fire, and so will you know Satan and his angels. And then God will make a new heaven and a new earth. He'll burn up the old earth and the old heaven. And um, that we will, all the believers in heaven and earth, will live in the new heaven and new earth. And so that's the timeline. Um, so the Bible is laid out again. Prophecy. Mystery. Prophecy. Because the key to Bible study, see that little red key up there, is rightly dividing the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2.15. We have to divide, the basic divisions are mystery from prophecy. So I hope that was useful and helpful to explain that timeline real quick. Thank you for watching. God bless.